Hi, welcome to this discussion on dienes and diene stability. On the screen, there are three types of dienes represented a conjugated diene, an isolated diene, and an allene. An isolated diene in the center of the screen is unconjugated and has carbon carbon double bonds that are separated by at least one tetrahedral carbon. The conjugated diene on the left has carbon carbon double bonds that are only separated by a single bond. Allenes are compounds that have two double bonds that share one carbon. That carbon has a linear geometry, so it is sp hybridized. Allenes belong to the class of cumulated dienes. Since these compounds have different bonding, we should expect that they will have different stabilities. Let's remove all but the isolated diene in the middle to start the discussion of their stability. The two carbon-carbon double bonds in this molecule are isolated. Since we basically have two monosubstituted alkenes, we will have a total heat of hydrogenation for this type of diene that is approximately equal to the sum of two monosubstituted alkenes. In our alkene stability part two, we suggested that a monosubstituted alkene should have a heat of hydrogenation of about negative 30 kilocalories per mole. For 1,4 pentadiene, the heat of hydrogenation is approximately twice that number. Let's plot this reaction and give it a value of negative 60.4 kilocalories per mole. Now let's bring in the conjugated diene 1,3 pentadiene. The hydrogenation of 1,3 pentadiene releases 54.1 kilocalories per mole of energy, significantly less than our isolated diene. As we see by its lower position on the screen, this conjugated diene is lower in energy than the isolated diene. This is a general trend. We can compare any number of similar conjugated dienes to isolated dienes, and in all cases, the conjugated dienes are more stable, lower in energy, compared to the unconjugated dienes. Although we will not go into detail here, when differences in other bonding are taken into account, for example, 1,3-pentadiene has a disubstituted double bond and 1,4-pentadiene does not, a general accepted value for gain instability for the more stable conjugated dienes is around 3.5 to 3.7 kilocalories per mole. Now that we have established that conjugated dienes are more stable than isolated dienes, the question remains, why do we see this trend? Let's place p orbitals of the pi bonds along with the electrons of each pi bond of the isolated diene. Here we see that the orbitals of pi electrons do not interact with each other because of the methylene group separating to two pi bonds. Now let's place p orbitals and the electrons that comprise the pi bonds of the conjugated diene. As we can see, the conjugated diene's four electrons can delocalize throughout the array of four 2p orbitals that make up the pi bonds. Delocalizing all four electrons through two pi bonds lowers the energy of the system and this is responsible for the lower energy of conjugated dienes. We now have one more diene class to consider, allenes. Let's remove the ball and stick models of isolated and conjugated dienes and place an allene on the screen. When we hydrogenate allene, it releases a large amount of energy, 70.5 kilocalories per mole. This diene is over 10 kilocalories per mole, higher in energy than our isolated diene. This is also a general trend. Allenes are significantly higher in potential energy than conjugated and isolated dienes. Let's now show the p orbitals that comprise the two double bonds of allene. The two pi bonds in allenes are at 90 degree bond angles. We will place two planes bisecting each pi bond's p orbitals and rotate our allene to visualize this. Even though the pi bonds share the central carbons, the p orbitals on that carbon do not overlap because they are at 90 degree bond angles from one another. 
When we have this arrangement of orbitals without overlap, they are said to be orthogonal. Electrons that lie in orthogonal orbitals are not delocalized, so cannot stabilize alenes. In addition, sp hybridization of this central carbon contributes to the increase in energy of cumulative dienes. This is a general trend and extends to alkynes that also have sp hybridized carbons with similar heats of hydrogenations. Now let's summarize. Conjugated dienes have pi bonds that are adjacent to each other where the electrons can delocalize across the pi bonds. They are lower in energy than isolated dienes whose electrons are not delocalized. The average stabilization for conjugated dienes compared to isolated dienes is in the range of 3.5 to 3.7 kilocalories per mole. Alanes have an sp hybridized central carbon. The two pi bonds in these dienes are orthogonal. The increase in energy of an alene is consistent with alkynes that also have sp hybridized carbons. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.